Hello, you magical and mystical creature. Welcome to my channel. I'm Nick the Mystic, and today we're going to talk about five things that you must know for this full moon in Virgo. This moon is actually our final moon of this astrological year, which began last March at the equinox. And because it's a full moon to complete the cycle, there's an added energy of culmination and completion. The March equinox always marks the beginning of the new astrological year. And if we were to go back to March of 2020 and all that transpired, you may get a little more of an idea of why certain things are broadcast at certain times of the year. This full moon is extremely important because it sets the tone for a wildly transformative month of March that is jam-packed with planetary shifts and planets making moves that haven't happened in 247 years kind of a big deal. I've also done a March 2023 energy update that will go over the shifts that we will be experiencing, how to prepare and thrive, and how to quantum leap onto your highest timelines. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so the top five things that you need to know about this full moon in Virgo. Number one, Virgo is all about cleansing, purifying, health, and well-being. So where in your life needs cleansing and purifying? Whether that be specifically with your health and your well-being and how you take care of yourself with your body, your mental health, your emotional health, the quality of the health of your relationships, the health with your finances and your relationship with money, the health of your energy and how you're utilizing it. What's the vibrational frequency of the energy that you're intaking on a daily basis? Take a look at all of these areas and begin the cleansing and detoxing that is necessary in order for you to thrive in all of these areas. Set strong intentions as this is a powerful moon to really get to the energy of completion of old energies. I also share a lot more details of specific things to cleanse this month in my energy update that you can dive into and get a lot more information and support in. Number two. Virgo is also known for devotion and sacred service to the world. This is an incredible time for all healers, light workers, star seeds, way showers, creatives, and change makers of the world to get very clear on what it is that they want to share with the world and then share it. While the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Virgo, it's a beautiful blending of energies to use your imagination to dream up your greatest dreams and then to take divine aligned action with it. The shadow side of Virgo is to be perfectionistic to a fault, highly critical and judgmental. So be aware of this energy as you are contemplating your dreams and don't allow the shadow aspect of Virgo to shut them down. Instead, harness the light aspects of Virgo, of self-improvement, efficiency, focus, drive, determination, and contribution to a greater cause to be the driving force to turn your dreams into a reality. Number three, get clear on your habits and patterns that are not serving you. Have a eulogy for them and birth new patterns and habits that are in direct alignment with the life that you are here to live. I want you to take inventory of your life and find where the biggest energy leakages are. Think of yourself as a bucket. Your energy is water and leakages are holes all throughout the bucket. What are the habits, thoughts, people, old feelings and beliefs, and all of the things that are taking your energy on a daily basis. An easy way to know this is to identify where the majority of your thoughts are focused throughout the day. That is telling you where you are unconsciously giving away your precious life force energy and can be utilizing it instead to build your dreams. It's imperative to find out what's not working in your life at this time so you can use the discerning and decisive energy of Virgo to actually change it. 
Number four, you will also receive incredible insights that you may have not received before or revelations and breakthroughs around blocks on speaking your truth, sharing your light and your gifts, and showing up in service. It will feel like a huge weight is lifted off of your shoulders, and things that have kept you stuck for years, or maybe even lifetimes, is just lifted, and you are able to move forward with ease and excitement. This is something that I've actually been experiencing for the past week or so. I have felt huge blocks in creating content for my YouTube channel, and I haven't created a like legitimate in front of the camera video since I started my channel back in February 2022. And I've been making a lot of other content that felt like it was in alignment, but also safe at the same time. And so I personally have experienced deeply rooted fears around speaking my truth and sharing what I know and have been intensely doing mental and emotional alchemy the last year. And I've really been feeling immense shifts in my self-concept this year that has changed my entire internal experiences. For those of you who are here on planet Earth to spread your light and likely have many past life memories, of being tortured, abused, or killed. I understand the depth of this fear, and I am here to tell you that, one, the fear makes sense and is valid. So first and foremost, please acknowledge it. Two, commend yourself for returning to the Earth game an infinite amount of times. No matter how many times we came here fearlessly to plant seeds of light, you're a fucking badass and need to own the fact that you are a warrior of light. The way I see it in my mind, it's like a video game. And I'm the fucking crazy hero that will stop at nothing. Kill me as many times as you want. And I will keep returning and I will keep remembering who I am and do my job as a warrior of light. And three, use this mantra to transform this specific fear. This is something that my higher self gave me and it has changed the game for me and I feel like it will for you too. Instead of getting prosecuted for sharing my truth, this time I'm getting paid for it. Instead of getting prosecuted for sharing my truth, this time I'm getting paid for it. Times have changed and we are the ones who are in charge. Our ability to spread love, light, knowledge, and wisdom is greater than it has ever been before. And it is our power, strength, and love for humanity and planet Earth that is going to lead us through this ascension and evolution in consciousness. It's the consciousness renaissance, baby. And last but not least, number five, decide that there is no other reality than you living, creating, and manifesting every fucking dream you have and build your beliefs and take action to allow everything to come to fruition. Reality is simply a function of our belief systems and our beliefs are just thoughts that we continue to think. So as we are in this cleansing energy, Get crystal clear about the thoughts and beliefs that are not allowing you to live your dream life and bid them adieu. With every thought you have, ask yourself, is this a helpful thought? And if it's a no, get rid of it. Now is the time to learn how to work with your mind and become diligent and disciplined on what you allow in your sacred home. Think of your mind as your home. If an intruder just invites themselves in, are you gonna make them a cup of tea and invite them in to get all cozy with you? No, 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 God, no. <laughs> You're gonna tell them to get the fuck out or take appropriate action to make sure that your home is safely guarded and protected. So why do we do this with thoughts? Why do we allow our most safe and sacred place to be constantly invaded, infiltrated and violated by negative or dark insidious thoughts. Kick them out. You are the owner and protector and you decide what gets to be in your home. So be very militant about the energies you allow in your mind and use your imagination to dream up new worlds and then become obsessed with 
your new worlds. Reality is simply a projection of our imagination. So this is the time to amplify your imagination and constantly speak them into existence as if they are already here. And before you know it, they will be because it is law. Any thought persisted in long enough has to then become a part of your reality. Cheers to this incredible full moon and all that is available. There is massive transformation waiting for you and higher realities that are calling you. Let me know in the comments below if you had any ahas or breakthroughs and what you intend for this full moon. Anytime we affirm something in the physical plane, it makes it a direct experience and allows for things to manifest that much quicker. Now is your time to go shine bright like this full moon and illuminate the world with your magic and light. I love you. 